Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're doing something a little bit different again. Uh, we're doing another Loot Crate unboxing here on Pastiche of Skin. I keep receiving these, so I will keep making the boxes and doing the unboxing things for you to see. So uh, let's take a look at this month's... Mm, this month's... Holy crit DX. I kind of need to get used to actually like double checking the cameras whenever I'm actually looking at this, but I'm never going to remember. We're not going to be doing too many of these in the future. We're almost done with the loot crits uh, that'll be appearing here. So I've, I've just sliced this open. I haven't looked inside it. Well, let's see what is inside loot crit DX for the month of February 2017. Holy shit. Okay. Um, let's go with box number one. That's pretty big and easy to see. Look at this! Tetris! Tetris! Okay. Um, so Loot Crit DX for a long while has been um, seemingly uh, falling under a quality issue where it was similar, very, very similar to the Loot Crit standard boxes just with a what was meant to be a more expensive version of whatever it was that was going into the other boxes. But um, this is a little bit different. That's kind of cool. Okay. Tetrino <laughs> salt and pepper shakers. That's this is the kind of shit that would be in a gamer's house, you know, an actual like kind of a adult gamer's house. That the the biggest problem I had was the infantilization of what was going on with the Loot Crate DX, which was obviously beyond the price range of any normal kid really to buy, but um, kind of thing that an adult would have picked up for themselves. So yeah, it's just a rubber stopper in the bottom that was actually stops you from losing all your salt and pepper out. Pepper, salt, and do they break together? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I, I, I have to admit, I get a kick out of that. I like the idea of having Tetris blocks for my salt and peppers. The fact that they stack, and they stack, not, not, not even stack, you know, like a little bit awkwardly. That's a solid seal on those. Um, ceramic, as of course, so... <laughs> you wouldn't want to actually be throwing these around too much, but that's that's pretty decent, you know. I'm going to be using the hell out of these. Yeah, man. All right, so salt and pepper shakers as our first object of this month's loot crate, which I'm really surprised to see. Okay, we'll get you guys safely to the side and your packaging, and we'll move on to the other stuff that I can see already inside this crate is going to catch my attention. Robotech VF figure, a variable fighter. I already have one of these. I well, I don't have. It, it's not one exactly like this. It's uh, it is a Robotech fighter. In fact, I think it. I don't even think it's a Robotech fighter. It's actually a Macross VF1 fighter because it was a Japanese import that I picked up years and years and years ago. But um, the very tech fighters, uh, if you can't see, it, you've never seen Macross or Robotech. They're essentially planes that actually have like three modes: uh, robot mode or mecha mode, plane mode, and then like a, a two-footed walker that has a plane body for shooting missiles and stuff. So yeah, that's what this transforms into. It's a decent action figure. It's a pretty cool one. It says Loot Crate exclusive. I'm assuming the Loot Crate exclusive is, as always, a special skin or colors for it. But um, UN Spacey Transformable VF Very Tech Fighter 1 to 100 skill. That's, uh, yeah. You win me over with mechs. You can always win me over with mechs. Can you hear that noise? I hear rattles in there. Do you know what it means whenever you hear rattles? It means lots of kindling bits. So it means a um, little bit different, uh, multiple heads probably, and uh, different weapon loadouts, which is something kind of standard for these kind of figures because they have um, variances, a whole lot of them in the shows as well, like whatever they've been used to fight with. But yeah, Spec Ops, I'm imagining it says Spec Ops VF-1J Fighter because of the color scheme. I don't know how well that would stand because it's got those kind of like weird cloven feet to kind of open up at the bottom. How balanced it would be, but I, I'm looking forward to playing with, <laughs> playing around with the figure. It's um, that's a cool one. Again, another cool fucking thing from uh, Loot Crate this month. This is uh, this is actually really shocking me because I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not, I'm not being I'm not getting these for nothing to do them anymore. They just keep standing them out even though my contract and deal's finished or whatever way it was working is finished. But this is um, this catch me off guard. What is this um? Is this a Lego kit? No, no. It's not a Lego kit. Oh! Okay. This is pretty cool. So, it's a Game of Thrones construction set. So, it's designed to actually be, like, a, not not like a Lego set, but a, like a model set. So, it actually, you can put up a stand. This will look kind of cool on one of my set shelves. Oh. 
But that's according to us, it's 314 pieces. No, I... HBO and my, oh, it's McFarlane toys. So they, the likenesses are going to be reasonably cool because McFarlane toys do pretty good uh, head sculpts and body sculpts for all their figures. I've never never find them be really bad. Uh, let's see. So it does actually have like almost like a Lego brick kind of style to it, but that's actually like the floor, and then the floor tiles go on top of the Lego brick things to kind of stop them from moving around too much. You can see it there on the side of the box, actually uh, over here on the right hand side of it. Oh, 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 I have to be careful with <laughs> well, well, how I'm shadowing objects whenever I'm moving these around. And you can see the green screen popping up occasionally. But um, it's obviously of the throne room uh, with wee prickface McFuckhead on the throne. Uh, obviously, he's been dead for a long enough time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to building that. A 314-piece uh, Game of Thrones construction set. And according to this, like, it shows like, to build your army, it shows you actually like the full court. The rest of the court, and uh, not just this throne bit that they actually have here, but it actually shows like the full court looking almost like a chessboard with the soldiers. So you could actually build out the sets from Game of Thrones with these kind of sets. Um, McFarlane Toys doing their own kind of like Lego figure sets seems interesting. Um, at the bottom of this, it shows Lannister, Banster Pack, Stark Banner Pack, and coming soon, Mother of Dragons, an attack on the wall. And uh, shows like a couple of like samples of those. Uh, that's a big set, but um, not so fussed on it because Game of Thrones has never been my thing. It's a game of tits and swords, really. I uh, never was into the books whenever I was growing up, so kind of like passed me by by a fair bit. So what is this? Hmm. Okay, so build and color your own three D three D swooping evil, swooping evil, and inside look at magic magic zoology in the film. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Deluxe, bot Deluxe Book and Model Set. So it's actually a like 3D slot together model kit for the Fantastic Beasts. I'm liking the kind of like constructability of this particular um, box. I, I like the idea of it actually being creatures and monsters, but you build them yourselves. This from, right, so the Tetris feels like an adult gift. It feels like a housemaker, house owner's gift. The Very Tech Fighter has an old enough age being a Robotech figure that no child or kid's going to be asking for a Robotech figure. That's another one for the elves. But the Game of Thrones Lego set and this seem a bit more family friendly. Now, I'm not saying it's crap. I'm not saying it's good either. <laughs> because, all right, so that actually literally slides off here. So the figure is a slot together kit that is um, tongue and grooved and put together. So it actually makes kind of like a standing figure. Which is fair enough. Um, obviously, comes off separate from the rest of it. And then it's, again, a tiny book. that, Although it comes in the DX set, this is a... I, I remember getting these as a kid kind of thing. Um, movie books. It's a bunch of photographs and talking about the movie, barely relating it to the creatures. It feels like the kind of thing that would be book one of a set of 100 that you'd be paying... Probably what 15 16 pound for every issue after issue one. So I'm giving you a color scheme for what you should do with it. Uh, kids, kids, a home figure that feels like a family box that's actually an interesting take on it, a dose interesting way to do it. But again, not for me. And before I throw them away, because I actually had a second the second thing sitting in here Aesthetic Crew Socks. Fucking socks. Fucking socks. Socks. Really. Fucking socks. Right. And I'm almost sure. Because these are Agent of Shield and fucking Hydra socks. I'm almost sure I remember these. Or some very similar being in a fucking loot crates loot by wear sock box in a while ago. Fucking socks. Go away with the fucking socks. No more socks. Do we not put socks in this box? Do not put socks in that box. Do not put socks in any of the fucking boxes. Do you hear me, Loot Crate? If you want to sell socks, sell the socks in the Loot Wearables. Do not put the socks in the other boxes. They are not welcome. Other closing items, fine. Socks, stay where the fuck they were meant to be. I'm like, I honestly, I made jokes about this ages ago about the underpants. And they do sell underpants now. Fuck off with your socks. Fuck off with your underpants. Do not put them in my crates. 
They because you ascribe them like a twenty dollar value whenever you can buy these probably in most cases for less than five bucks because they're fucking socks. You don't buy expensive socks. Oh, okay. So Power Rangers was the theme for the pin. This month's theme is build. So obviously with a theme like build, you've seen what it is. It's a build your own Game of Thrones set. Veritech Fighter has a bit of model ability to it. These fantastic beats are, beats are buildable. Don't know how Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Agents of Hydra fucking fit in with build. And Power Rangers because of the mecha. And of course the soon to be released movie. So February 2017, build theme. Alright. Oh, sorry, there's two things in here. What's this? Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Thanks to support from looters like you, we built Loot Grid from a small garage-based company to what it is today. We're celebrating our fifth anniversary this year with a new logo dedicated to be like a window into the world, stories and characters we all love. Uniting all our crates under a single brand, we can't wait to build even more great memories with you. We love you, Chris and Matthew, co-founders of Loot Crate. I was wondering because I noticed that the Crate logo is different on this. Loot Crate DX, um... Yeah, they've changed the logo design. Uh, obviously, by part of that, because they had to change the logo design for at least this crate, there is no interior art. There's, there's, there's no interior art for you to see. Look, they didn't. They took away even the interesting thing about the fucking DX boxes. First, they take away the little sleeve of paper that kind of kept the mystery of whenever you're opening it. Then they changed the actual like top of it as well. We'll see if they manage to maintain it. If they, if I receive another crate after this, but oh. Fuck you, Lucrate. Okay, so exclusive Megazord Blueprint Pin. Cute. Tetris Salt and Pepper Shakers. Exclusive Veritech figure, Fighter Figure. 1 to 100 scale has 3 points of articulation across 3 modes. Battleoid, Guardian, and Fighter. That's what those 3 modes are called. Uh, we're giving you an exclusive color var variant. Yep, so... Yeah, that's what it is. It's a, it's a different color. That's, that's, that's what they've given us a special deal. Uh, Game of Thrones construction set. They say the Iron Throne is made of a thousand swords forged together by Dragonfire. Find out for yourself when you put together this miniature replica of King Joffrey's throne room, complete with a member of the King's Guard. Yeah. We just looked at that. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Incredible. Incredibuild. That's the name of the brand. Incredibuild. Incredibuild. Swooping Evil Book and Model Set. Become an expert in magic zoology. Looks like Newt Scarmander. Yeah, so. I think, again, like that, I don't have a problem with that figure set. It just it, or the um, sweeping evil. It definitely feels like those kind of old um, buy by month model sets or the collections that you used to get, where you'd pay two pound for issue one, three pound for issue two, then fifteen pound for four, three, four, five, and six to get you to subscribe because they always did the first couple of ones on a lower quality or a smaller figure base. And then they kind of like went off the craziness with the rest of them. I remember doing them with trans. Uh, I just remember doing it with um, transformers, with uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes and dinosaurs and stuff, building them together with those little slide together kits. So you kind of had the skeletons. And stuff. Yeah, they're fun, but they really, really are obviously aimed towards the child and child market. So that's like a child's gift within this loot crate, the Xbox. And the last thing, the last and most important thing, they they made sure to put into this was bonus loot wear socks. Build your wardrobe with these stylish socks from Lootwear. Want more? Get 10% off Lootwear Risky Business Bundle. Delivering a pair of geeky socks, a pair of underwear, and a t-shirt every month by entering a promo code LWBUNDLE10 at checkout. They put the Loot Crate socks, they put Lootwear socks, leftover Lootwear socks, into this box as a bonus to make us feel better whenever the rest of the set eh, is not very brilliant. Like, the only thing I'm interested in in this entire box is the Tetris salt and pepper shakers really? Because I already have a, I already had one of those Veritech figures from way back. I like it. Two out of what? Two out of five things. Two out of four things in this crate. Not bad. I'm not horribly upset by. But guys, guys, I, 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 there'll always be a complaint. There will always be a complaint about the crates because you can't please everybody every time. But don't fucking increase somebody's ire by putting those fucking socks under them. Now, let's just finish it off with a little bit of the Mega Crate. The Mega Crate was uh, Batman Arkham Knight Bundle Limited Edition PlayStation 4 500 gigabyte console, a Power Rangers Legacy Thunder Megazord action figure, a Tactbit 28-piece USB-powered LED lamp set made out of Tetrinos, a 55-inch 4K Ultra HD Smart LED TV, and the LEGO Dimension Starter Pack for PlayStation 4. Again, the Crate DX, even your Mega Crate, 
feels like a family bundle. It it's I, I think you I think you've found your space of what you want to do with this box, with these with the Loot Crate DX box. It never it, it never felt from like maybe the first second months, it didn't feel like it was an adult gift set box for adults. Uh which is fine. I can understand why it veered towards child content for a while and then you heard the complaints and then ramped it back across again and then split in the box that way so that there's something for mom, dad, uh, or dad, dad, mom, mom, whatever the hell, uh, and then kiddo on the underside of it so that they had something to look at or play with or the inner child that never grow up, grows up and many of us natural based nerds, that that's why you build it that way. I can understand it. I understand it, but I'm glad I'm not, I'm glad I'm not buying these crits. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fill in my questionnaire whenever it gets around to it. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the look, this unboxing of Loot Crate DX for the month of... This box of Loot Crate DX for the month of February. The theme was build. And um, I'm not exactly building a good reputation with this company, but who cares? Uh, you've seen everything that was inside of this month. If any of it interests you, make sure to check out on eBay in the next week or two because I'm sure some people will be getting rid of this stuff. But uh, you will not be seeing my Tetris salt and pepper shakers. I know exactly where those are going. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And until I see you again, I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.